yeah, there's no list. There's no shock there. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm there's kind of some uh, reasonable doubts that might lead to me that Holiday in my three might suck, and I'm give you the my little reasons here why I think it might freaking suck. And I hope the game is good. I mean, really hope it has to come through the clutch to I think save Call of Duty. If not for everyone else, for me. And look at that, I get close up. I mean, come on. <laughs> already, I already made a video about this. Come on. Come on, baby girl. You gotta give up sometimes. And yeah, I'm running the MSMC Rapid Fire and Rip, I believe so. Yeah, it's a little weird too. I mean, someone tried it. Someone told me to run the Rapid Fire on it. Okay. Let me try. I was going in with it for like the first eight kills, and yeah, it fell apart after that. Okay, <laughs> keep watching it. Okay, the number one reason is. Fucking spawns. Holy shit. We've been dealing that with that since Call of Duty fucking since the like the first Call of Duty, you know, online playable of course. But the spawns have to change. They gotta fix these spawns. Man, we've been struggling for years now. Come on, Call of Duty. You can afford the lobster and shit. Why are we still eating ramen noodles? Come on. Let's get your shit together. Not too, look at that! They spawned two people there, right in front of my face. When they could have spawned over there by the other flag, and hey, I mean, see, what else? Like, holy shit, you need to fix that Call of Duty. You need to get the shit together. You need to. Because it's unacceptable what you guys be doing. I mean, you're eating the lobster, the tea. You know, stop holding back. I don't know what you guys doing. And that motion guy right there was, oh my god, he was ripping my asshole. That dude was going in. Give him props. But, yeah, okay, so number two, the reason why it might suck even more is the score streaks. And talking about the score streaks, I mean, like the VSAP being able to shot down, holy shit, being shot down. I mean, that just phases me. And it, it phases me more than that one time I got a fucking hit my, my knife. Holy shit, I'm still phased by that. But the VSAT being able to shut down, you know, once to call that shit and, you know, a fast it is. And it makes sure the VSAT, oh shit. Holy shit, they can do that? Yeah, they can do that in the live stream. So I'm not a big fan of that. And, you know, the EMP system and whatever. And the score streaks, I mean, Honda Hart said it. I mean, the mothership, like, is one of the best skill streaks. It's feared on the map. I mean, <laughs> if it's like the. It's like the chopper gunner from NW2. I mean, it's a wrap. If you get that shit, it's a wrap. And you bust to win. You know that lightning strike. They're just filthy there. And I don't see the guy behind me. Of course I don't. He had the score streaks, the mothership, the EMP system, and the VSAT. You know, everything being counterable. How counterable will the, <laughs> will the mothership be? That's a big question. That's a big question I want to know. And, oh, also one more thing, you know, I'm going to give you a little extra, a little extra. How do you guys feel about the domination match is only going up to 100 and then switching sides? Only up to 100, so, like me, we usually get a big lead, maybe up to like 120, 130, somewhere around there, and start the next round. But now it will be only 100, so those other teams that you thought you would blow up will have now a better chance to come back. Like, I like that. I like that a lot. Definitely a great addition to it, and it should be. It should lead to some awesome gameplay like this game, close games. You know, I love that stuff. That's actually the reason why it might be good. <laughs> Talking about that, and but yeah, but the VSAT being shot down is ridiculous. And being called the hater, why? It should be called the love lovers. Come on, Let's get these together. Okay, so. Another reason why I might so And of course, it's a given, you know, every Call of Duty campers, you know, camping, you know, with the the fire, with the tent, with the marshmallow. Oh, got a lateral. Oh my goodness. Oh, I had no chance. Anyways, you know, campers, you know, setting up the tents, the fire, the marshmallows, you know, whatever. It's a given in every Call of Duty. And it sucks that there's campers in this game because Black Ops 3 is also supposedly made to run and gun and whatever, giving lightweights built into it and toughness. So, I hope there's not a camper. I hope there's not campers. You know, it's just ridiculous. Camping in this game and Black Ops 3, I mean, 
because you know you got lightning you got lightweight on it i mean you should be dipping from another fossil of the map to the other map Come on. I hope there's not campers and if you're a camper fuck you no i'm kidding <laughs> um a call huge one a huge uh, a huge reason why this game might suck is the motherfucking back bench are back and wall running oh my fucking goodness holy shit um the backpacks isn't something new it was in advanced warfare but if you were like me you hated advanced warfare i hated advanced warfare holy shit it was it was stupid the, the damn jetpack it was the worst thing you could fucking bring into the game i mean there was no map flow there was horrible map flow in that game and this is not rant about that but i'm just saying there was nothing that was good about that game except the customizable stuff you could get i didn't like the supply jobs either they're just greedy bastards about that and uh, yeah, karma for them but anyways the backpacks whoever masters the backpacks first like if you're really good at the backpacks and they're not as you know you can't jump as high or you can't do as much things as you could like in um uh, in the advanced warfare with the black ops 3 ones but if they're still there and you're still able to jump like two stories and they said there's three three lane map flow so that's great and that's good news but will it still be a problem the jet the jetpacks the backpacks i mean i don't know i don't like a motherfucker when they're shooting at me up in the air i mean i don't like that i don't like that at all look at that okay let me take make take them down the dan stealth chopper dan lmg yo destroy that shit instantly well anyways yeah the camper the campers and the jetpack running I don't know it's a bad combination but this, again this is just my personal opinion on why this game might suck and I will make another video why this game will be good and I'll be talking more positive and more lovey dovey on that, on that video yeah um so yeah backpacks and wall running will be huge I think they'll be huge in this game um I love me I love me crown on the boots. You know, right there action from not from one story high or you up in the air. That's just ridiculous. You have like no chance. I mean you might as well give them the damn sniper and quick scope for me from the damn sky. You know, ridiculous. So one more huge thing is the specialist. Yup, the specialist. Um this is definitely new to Call of Duty. I think this would game this would change the game a lot. It will impact the game a lot using different special abilities that these people have, like the reject ability, or that guy that has two knives and goes down on people. I don't know. I don't know all these things, but I know some of these. I think they will impact the game a lot. I do. Do I think it will break the game? I think personally, it might be some of these people that have the special abilities might be too overpowered op i mean the the person that can see through the walls or whatever for that short time or the person that gets the kills that gets like 100 plus for every kill or whatever i think that might be a little overpowered and you know call of duty is all about that balanced balanced gameplay you know that everyone has a chance to pick up a gun you have the same chance to kill the person depending on your connection you know obviously right damn connection means everything in this game in general and you have the specialist people i mean it'll, it's gonna bring a boom to the game and competitive people are gonna have competitive uh, matches really competitive matches with different abilities so it's not gonna be like normal call of duty so people will have abilities and look at the game slipping from our hands the game is slipping from our hands we are all that's really trying to go to be on this we're trying to go to be all my teammates are look at this i mean we just we're just getting shit on this was our only chance to get it and i die like i just get melted i don't even know from where and my teammate doesn't get it i mean i thought we, were, we got it but we didn't get it from, uh, unfortunately you said the specialist people i think they'll pull, put a damper on the game for a little bit but you just have to get adjusted to it i believe but yeah i mean I'm pissed when I die by that stupid guy when it has his two big knives and slams to the ground. I mean, that's gonna be bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Or the instant melt pistol you get. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. 
But anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on why this game, Call of Duty 3, might suck. Might suck. Hopefully it won't suck. Hopefully it won't. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for viewing. And yeah.